Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I got one more interesting problem statement for you. So here is the case. This is actually what happened. Like I, I was working on something and I, uh, that the problem has been asked on Excel. And somehow like uh, I thought that I can replicate that in Power BI as, as well. So I never came across any in the dashboard, but it might help you also. So let's uh, see how, what exactly the problem statement. So let's say I have a sales by category, uh, subcategory, or you can have the different, uh, any dimension field here. <clears throat> now what uh, the user want is, if they want to see, like, let's say, the 40% of my sales will be contributed by which top category, uh, top uh, category. So let's say if I just select a top 40% of the total sales being accumulated by these particular three categories. If I just select, let's say 5%, 5% is there, uh, 5.50. So just a second, it, I guess it's getting hanged. So 15% something, let's say, by the phone. So likewise, we want to see like, uh, can we, instead of filtering it out, we can we highlight this particular thing? So this is how it works and how we can uh, think of this particular problem statement. Let me see. So if I select a central, south, base, so in West region, these are the four, five categories which are contribute almost 25% of the sales cumulatively. <clears throat> so let's see. So if you want to, how you can approach this particular problem statement, first, you need to create a rank. <clears throat> Once you create a rank, you need to create a percentage out of total. Okay, that would be done by the cumulative or something like this. So what I can do, I will just first select the uh, metrics out of this because the last thing is just a conditional formatting which is quite easy so i have this particular thing i have the total sales let me sort it by this so first what we need we need the rank function so i have already created the rank function if you see just select by all subcategories give me the total sales nothing but the sum of sales in descending order and dense rank so what i can do i will just include my rank here so top is the first rank and now what we need based on this we need to have a cumulative sales so what it needs so uh, i will just break down into simple steps so thus this particular first variable gives me total across the subcategory then current rank fetches the rank of that particular given subcategory then sumx what it sumx to it's like for a given subcategory it takes the cumulative sum so what i can do here is let me do this and first let me see cumulative sales category here. Uh, I just add here if you see, uh, since I have just selected into percentages, that's why it's looking like this. But if you see uh, 327k plus 322k, uh, 726, 72, 650, likewise, then 650 plus 219, So likewise, these cumulative sum is being captured. So this is the one of the major one more thing that you can uh, take a learning from this particular video is like how to calculate, let's say if you ask someone ask you to how to calculate the cumula uh, cumulative sales or cumulative values, so this is the way that you can do. So based on the rank, uh, this is the rank approach that I am following. And last what we are doing by cumulative, but dividing the total sales. So total sales, nothing but the sum of all the sales value in the current context. So that nothing but it's like 327 by uh, 261. So like this. So what I can do here, you can hit enter. And if you see, so this can constitute, uh, let's say 14%, 28%, 38%, and likewise, it comes to the 100% at the last. So this gives me, whenever I select, uh, let's say, top category, let's say, give me top 15% of the category, uh, which constitute the two of the total sales, or you can say 15% uh, of my top category. That's so one more thing I have created the highlighted function. If you see, if it is a selected cat sales category, uh, sales value, let's say 15% uh, is uh, greater than, uh, uh, let's say cumulative sales, it highlights, no highlight. So what I can do, I can just also add this thing. If I just add, let's say 25%, no, I should go for, 30%. So if you see, so 30% of sales being driven by this, let's say, two, two categories. 
port and change. So that's how you can calculate uh, the particular uh, percentages like uh, so this is how and these two highlight if we just place that into our bar chart it will going to highlight instead of filter. So what I mean uh, give me those subcategories which contribute approximately 30% of the sales. So these are the two categories. If I just select let's say 40% so these are those third. Uh, three categories so it gives a user an impression that okay these are my sales total subcategories out of this these three are my uh, primary uh, subcategories where the sales has been taking place now he can further drill down how these sales are being taking place or vice versa also like he can see that what are the categories which are not performing well so he can take that particular so exclusively uh, exclusive also that the things can be taken place so let me remove this thing and let's create the chart that i have created so for this let me select the bar chart and let me enhance it oh sorry what i can do subcategory sales by general effect no background title so sales sales by subcategory i want it at a center let's have a divider line spacing is fine uh, this is good padding let me make uh, the padding is zero sorry uh, zero zero then if i go again back to the my y-axis i do not want the title uh, for values i need 10 let's make it color black and i can use the dim it looks better i guess uh, then what i can what i need is data labels that is the most important thing here x-axis now we do not require the neither the value neither the title uh, what I can have the first uh, border, let me have the visual border. So I have everything. What I need is now the, the conditional formatting. Right now, if I just select center, it will change, but the conditional formatting is still missing. So what I can do is again, select the chart, go to format the visual, go to bar, then select this FX option on the colors, then go to the field value, and select tops uh, highlight flag. If I sorry, my bad. I guess rules of flag. And if I go here and if I select highlight, I have colors. Uh, the wait, sorry, highlight more color. So it should be FF7F50. So that is the one color. And one module is not highlight. It should be more colors. PE6364. So these are the two colors that I can take. And this is it. So we are here done with the colors, schema and everything. So if you see here, this is what uh, we try to generate here. So if you see, these are the three categories, which shows me the 40% of the sales. If I just increase, let's say 80% of the sales. So 80% of the sales has been, so it's more or less more like a Pareto analysis that actually we do that 80% of the things can be explained by these 20% of the category. So this is how we want to reflect that kind of an analogy uh, I wanted to develop here. And it's it's easy thing. Like we just need to have the two concepts. First, the rank function. Then how you need to calculate the cumulative rank, cumulative sales. Then take a ratio of both these things in the percentages. Then you just need... Uh, need to select the conditional formatting and this top category you can easily create by using uh, model parameter um, in modeling you can go to parameter and take a let's say if i just show you yes i have just created a parameter oops my bad parameters which starts from five percentage inside the 105 percent gives them uh, 
uh, at a gap of 5%. So this is how you can select, create a parameter and use that effectively. So these, all the functions, basic functions have been covered first parameter, then the rank function, then the cumulative, then how to use condition formatting. And this, if you mix all of them, you can give a, get a very decent output. Uh, hope if you are able to follow till this point, please check out my YouTube page where I uploaded certain different kinds of problem statements in simplest manner. If you like this video, please like the video, subscribe my channel and follow for, for more Power BI updates. Thank you so much.